Now we're ready to attach the box to the cushion. We're going to start by placing the boxing with the zipper in front of us, good side up. Here's the notch that marks the centers in the back. And let's take one of our cushion covers. And we're going to put good sides together. Make sure that you're working from the back because that's where the zipper goes. There's also a notch in our cushion top. Let's put a pin there to secure that. And I'm also going to secure a pin at our starting corner. I'd like to start sewing before I make this turn. I'm going to put a snip in the box, just a little one, a diagonal one similar to the one that we used when we applied the piping. Then I'm going to wrap this boxing. around the corner. I'm going to pull that pin out and move its position. Now, now the reason that I'm starting here is that it's easier to make any adjustments should this boxing not fit just perfectly. There's a seam here where we can make adjustments. Let's put this on the sewing machine. Now I've already attached my universal zipper foot the foot is to the right hand side of the needle, so the needle's going into that groove on the left hand side of the foot, and that's going to allow us to get as close to that stitching as possible. So when I'm sewing, whenever I can, I want to make sure that my needle is closer to the piping than it is to the existing stitching that's already there. Now my needle is down into the fabric. I can remove this pin now. As we come to the corner, we want it really tight to that cording that's inside the piping. Raise the presser, presser foot. The needle is down. Pivot the fabric, making sure everything's smooth underneath. We're going to start sewing again. And I'm going to walk this for the first stitch. And again, we want to sew as close to that piping as we can without going over it. When you're an inch or two away from the, the pivot point, we in, again need to make a diagonal snip. Not too deep. It can't be a full half inch. And it ends near this point where we're going to pivot on the cushion cover. Needle is down. Raise your presser foot. Pivot the fabric. Smooth everything out underneath. few inches before we reach the corner. Let's put a snip at our pivot point. Now you see we're just catching that piping at the corner. Needle down, press your foot up. Pivot your fabric.
By the way, we're not matching these stripes from the boxing to the top. That's another lesson. Okay. Sewing. I don't know how well you can see this line of stitching that was used to attach the piping to the cushion top. We want to sew to the left of that so we get a really, really clean seam. We're approaching our last corner now. And again, we're going to put a little diagonal snip. I want to be very clear about this. There's that turn. We're going to snip this fabric. Remember how we did it on the cording lip. That's going to enable this bottom fabric here to make that turn. Needle down, press her foot up. Pivot the fabric, smooth it out underneath. Press your foot down, continue sewing. And you remember, I started where I did in case I needed to make any adjustments. And it looks like I've got a little extra fabric underneath here. Before we finish sewing that boxing, let's tighten this up just a little bit. So to make that a little tighter and neater, I removed the work and this seam where the zipper box attached to the front boxing, we're going to tighten that up right there by sewing about an eighth of an inch in. And now we can finish our box. So now you see that's going to fit a lot better. Let's start again. We're almost finished. So starting your work in that part of the cushion gives you a lot of flexibility.